Hello everyone and welcome. In today's video, I want to show you how to turn your blog posts from this into this very exciting layout. Okay, so as you can see, this is the default that comes in when once you install Divi. But you know what? We don't want to use the default template because it's not very exciting. So why don't we turn this into a much better design starting now? So if you're brand new to web design, I have a free course on MacUniversity.com. Go ahead and sign up for the WordPress mastery course. It's absolutely free, 100% free. You can go ahead, sign up. For those of you that want to design awesome looking websites using the theme that I was using today. In fact, this is called Divi. It's fantastic. I've been using this for over eight years and it's my go-to uh, web design tool for WordPress. So this allows you to design awesome looking websites, professional websites. So if you buy Divi using my affiliate link, I will give you access to my uh, course absolutely free. It's called Divi Blueprint 3 and also the Photoshop course. So these two courses I will give you absolutely free to help you get started with designing websites. Let's dive into the tutorial now. All right, so the first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna come over here and uh, go to our dashboard and create a brand new post, okay? So I'm gonna come over here, come over here to posts, click, click on add new. We're gonna call this uh, video template. So this is the template that we're going to use on our blog. So what we're gonna do next here is to make sure we come over here to page layout, click on sidebar and make sure this is set to no sidebar. Next, we're gonna come over here and for the post title, we're gonna say hide. And then finally, we're gonna come over here to our featured image and then we need to make sure we set our featured image. So we are going to go with, uh, let's go with this burger here. Okay, I'm gonna click on select. So now we have our featured image with uh, our page layout, has no sidebar and we've disabled the page title. Next, we're gonna come over here and click on, in fact, let's publish this. Make sure that everything is all saved. So now that I've published it, we're gonna come over here to use Divi Builder and now we're gonna build our template. So the first thing we're gonna do is to make sure we build this from scratch. And then I'm going to choose a single column for this. And in that column, we're gonna add a post title. So I'm gonna select it. So by default here, you can see it has all the elements. It has the video template, it has the, the images. So we wanna make sure that we don't have the featured image. So we're gonna get rid of the featured image. So everything else is okay, we're gonna leave that as it is, but we are going to go back in and make some minor tweaks to the text. So I'm gonna save this for now, and now I'm gonna to go to the section, okay? This is where we want to add our background image. So I'm gonna click here on background, click on the third tab, and then we want to click on this dynamic link. So I'm gonna click here, click on featured image. So every time we go on this page, it's gonna pull the featured image. Now the problem is this image here is way too bright and our text is not easy to read, so, what we need to do here is to um, add an overlay. So we're gonna add black over here. And then we're gonna come back on the, on the third tab, scroll all the way down and go to our image blend. Right now it's set to normal. We need to set it to multiply. So now you can see everything's gone black. But the advantage of doing it this way is when we click back here on the background color, and we drag the slider down, you can see here we have slightly exposed the image in the background, and if we go all the way down, of course it shows the full image, but we wanna do it just about there. Okay, cool. So everything looks great now, now it's time to go in and customize our text. So I'm gonna save this. So we're gonna go into our text um, post title settings, and then we're gonna go into our title here, give this a font, I'm gonna give this Montserrat, change this to white, I'm gonna make this all caps, and we're gonna center it. Next, we're gonna come over here to the meta text, make it all white, we're gonna center it, change the font, monster right. Great. So what we could also do here is we could play around with the transparency here, maybe reduce the transparency so that the text itself or the title itself is much uh, brighter. Okay, so that looks great. I'm gonna go ahead now and save. Now the next thing we need to do is to show more of this image. So I'm gonna click here on my settings for my rows. And then we are going to come over here to design spacing and we're going to add some margins both to the top and the bottom because we want to show a bit more of this image. So I'm gonna drag the slider here like that until I get to about, let's say 70. I think that's a good size. So I'm happy with that. I'm gonna go ahead and save. 
Next, we're going to start adding our, our content now. So I am going to um, click here on this plus button, regular section, single column. And this time we're going to add a video in here. Okay, I'm going to select it. So by default, it comes in way massive, okay? So uh, what we can do to fix this is to come over here to sizing, reduce this to about 70%. We're gonna center it, and that looks great. Now, the thing is, the default icon or the default um, way this looks once it comes in through um, YouTube, it doesn't really look nice. So we want to add an overlay image. Okay, so we're gonna come over here and we are going to click on content, overlay. We're gonna add our overlay image, but our overlay image now needs to be the featured image, which is uh, cool, so we don't have to go in and make changes to this. So it all comes in by default as that. Okay, so now that we have this, okay, that's looking great. Now let's go and pull it up so it goes into this area right here. So we're gonna go to spacing and use negative margin. So as you can see, as I'm dragging it towards the left, now my video is, okay, let's go to about minus 40. I think that looks great. Okay, so that looks nice. Our video now is into that header area, which looks really cool. I'm gonna go ahead now and save. Okay, so, so far our template is taking shape. That was, that's looking great. The next part now is to add the text itself. So I am going to come over here, click this plus button and search for my text module. I'm gonna select it. Okay, so I'm gonna copy some dummy text from here. So this is the description text that comes with your actual post that you're working on. Okay, so I'm gonna paste this in here like that, and as you can see here, the width is way too wide. So let's fix that by coming over here to design, sizing, I'm gonna reduce this down to about 70. Center it. Okay, we're also gonna change our text. Change it to uh, monster ad. Next, we're gonna come over here to line height. We're gonna set this to about 1.8. I think that looks great. Save that. So already this is looking a way much better than how it was before. So all we have to do now, so what we may want to do here is to come back over here and make some more tweaks. So I'm gonna click here on design and I'm gonna go to the title, make it slightly bigger. Uh, give it a bit more letter spacing. Okay, and I may want it bold as well, or semi-bold. Okay, so that's looking, that's looking much better. Save that. So now we have a default template here, which is custom. And every time you want to um, use this for our video posts, we can always save it to the library and then add it to our post as we create more video posts. So pretty much, uh, instead of having this plain sort of like layout, now we have a custom layout, which looks pretty much like this. Okay, so that's a much better design. So you can always go ahead and also add more elements like uh, maybe social media follow buttons. In fact, let's do that quickly. Let me show you how to do that. So to add your social media follow, you can just click this plus button. Social media follow. I'm gonna add a few more here. So let's add Pinterest. Let's add Instagram. And let's add one more. So here, let's add LinkedIn, okay? So now that we have all these, we want to center it. So we're gonna come over here to alignment. We're gonna center that. And just like that, we have our template, we have our social media follow, and this is our final design. Let me know what you guys think in the comments box below. And if you have any questions, you can always ask your questions in the comments box. And uh, in the next video, I'm gonna show you how to save this template and how to apply it to all your other future posts. Till next time, thanks for watching, and see you in the next video.